Wenn die älteren Jahrgänge noch wanken werden könnten, die Jugend ist uns verschrieben und verfallen mit Leibenbeschäden. those days, uh, I was uh, one of three siblings. Everything was pretty good for uh, Jewish people in those days. But things seemed to change after the 1930s. And when the Hitler, the Nazi regime started to develop in, in Germany, being Jewish, things become pretty difficult for us to live. Uh, high school, I didn't last very long there because I was attacked really by uh, other students. The fact that I was Jewish and uh, I was even physically attacked by, by them. So I had to give that away. In uh, 1938, you heard uh, about the, the, what they call the Kristallnacht. It was a, a night where Jewish shops were, the shop windows were broken and merchandise was looted by people out there, so it became almost impossible to carry on. I remember, i never forget, early in the morning, we were given, we were still in nightwear, and uh, a Gestapo, as they call it, a Nazi, in uniform, gave us something like five minutes to get ready and join a procession of people going through the streets past the burning synagogue. Now, it was a terrible time in, the, in this crystal night. It really was the beginning of the Holocaust, because what happened that night, uh, I shall never forget, and anybody who went through it will never forget it. They were deported, finally, father and mother, uh, to the concentration camps in Buchenwald. And uh, there was no confirmation whether they died a natural death, were gassed, were gassed or shot or whichever way they passed, but as far as we know, of course, they, they would have been dead by now. Since July 1939, I arrived in Brisbane. I just turned 18 when just I got to Australia. Okay. All by yourself? All by myself. Over the years, George has been an amazing inspiration and um, loved by many of the Jewish, Brisbane Jewish community and really the Jewish community within Australia um, for all the work that he does um, and has done over many years. It's hard to know where to start with George really because he did so much and still continues to do things even now that he's 93. Of course my time here in the last uh, particularly more so in the 22 years since I lost my wife. It's uh, uh, a lot of things have happened. A lot of good things have happened, like getting the order of Australia, for instance, and my wife, she died in 92, and I got it in 96. People just don't maintain the amount of Judaism that um, 
a Jewish identity that George has and that's always been part of his, his amazing, um, amazing life. And he's so proud of, to be Jewish and to have um, survived what he survived and moved to Brisbane where he now calls home. He's always worried about what other, what he's, whether he's doing the right thing by other people and that's the sort of person that he is. Sir Robert Menzies. 1965, yeah. he was the Prime Minister. And there you got taking hands with John Howard. And here is getting the OAM from Lenin Ford. Life does not always come in the, uh, the way we would like it to be. You can only hope for the best. We hope and pray for it. <laughs>